We're joined by student athletes Allison Adi and Sam Hartoon and head coach Phil Shoemaker. Uh, Phil, why don't you make an opening statement? Exciting match. Um, thought both teams played really, really hard. Um, certainly a lot to, to cheer for and lots of things to uh, be excited about for, for both teams, I suppose. Um, you know, it's a it's a rivalry game. It it, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, came up a couple points short. And I felt like, you know, it was it was a really competitive, just fight to the death kind of match. And um, I don't think there was an ounce of quit in in either team. And um, you know, so many great plays, so many great individual performances, and, and collectively, I think both teams ought to be really proud of, of their efforts and their performance tonight. Um, I guess I'll ask a question. <laughs> Where did um, Annette? Um, when you had him down, I believe what was I don't know, it was twelve ten or something like that, thirteen twelve. I, just what what did they do to close the match out that, that you guys couldn't get done? Uh, you may have noticed they had some big bangers, um, and uh, you know they they got better better swings at that point in the match than we did, and they were. They were determined to put the ball on the floor, and, and they did it a bit better than we did. And, and you know, if you get the right people in the right rotation, you can you can do those things. And, and um, you know, they just they just put the ball on the floor a little bit better than we did there towards the end. Sam, it's a different team than four weeks ago when we lost in five, but. Uh, Talk about the resiliency, getting down a set, uh, losing that third set, and coming back in the fourth like you guys did to force the fifth. Um, pretty much our mindset was through this, we're winning, <laughs> and we're we're working hard. I mean, you know, we're all putting out 100 percent effort all the time. It just wasn't enough this time, you know. In, in relative terms to how you play, you started off a little bit slow, but it just kind of progressed as 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 the match went on. Um, was it something that clicked, or how, how were you able to kind of get into the game? I think we started speeding up the offense, and I got out of my head, because sometimes I just overthink things, and I guess that was happening. But um, we started speeding up the sets, and that really helped me a lot to get out of it and just uh, get there before their blockers did. <clears throat> Allie, talk about the... Uh the play of uh, the block tonight. You got 29 digs tonight, uh, well above your season average, but uh, they did a good job to kind of enable you guys to set up the offense. Mm -hmm. um, the block tonight was a lot better than we have had in the past, I think. Um, you know, they were just swinging hard, and both teams were swinging hard, and it just was kind of a, a defense game, and we just came up a little short. As a team, I think you guys were up over 90 digs. And, and when you're facing it, some hitters that can put the ball that hard, I mean, what does it say about, you know, not only your back row, but everybody was digging the ball tonight. What, what does that say yeah. about your team? Yeah, we really stepped up tonight. I'm really proud of all the girls. I think everyone uh, stayed really disciplined. We've talked a lot about that in practice, and, and that's what we've been aiming for. And so the girls knew what they had to do, and I think they did it. <coughs> Sorry. Question for either Allie or Sam. Both matches this year went to five sets. Yeah. You look at just the last year to this year. I mean, what does this say about the future of this rivalry, at least for the next few years? Oh, it's just going to keep getting tougher. I mean, from last year to this year, I can just feel the energy picked up that much more. And we wanted it so bad. I mean, we've been talking about this game for weeks. And after the last game, it was so close. We just wanted to put it away. So I think in the future, yeah. 
It's going to be high intensity between the teams. It'll be fun to watch. I literally like couldn't sleep the last few nights, yeah. to be honest. I couldn't like fall asleep, because every time I'd start to fall asleep, I'd start thinking about the game and like what's going to happen. And um, so, you know, everyone was really excited about it. And in the next few years, they have some, they have, they start like three freshmen from like that also. So we're going to be going up the next three years with them. That's going to be really fun. It's going to be fun rivalry. When you get, how, I mean, if you guys play like you did tonight, you, your record, I mean, you guys are going to be, have a lot better record than you do right now. Yeah. How do you guys harness that feeling? I mean, I realize it's a rivalry match. Yeah. How do you guys kind of harness that feeling and use it going forward through the rest of the season? I think I think we're starting to do that a lot because our, yeah. even our last two matches last week, they both had that energy that we haven't had all season. And yeah, the energy's just clicking. I think we're taking it into practice as well. Mm -hmm. We're getting pretty competitive against each other, you know, little comments here and there and pushing each other's buttons, and I think it's coming out on the court, and I, I think it's going to continue to for the rest of the season. Is there chirping in volleyball? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> most of the front row, but. <laughs> yeah. Bob, you have anything else? OK. Uh, yep. uh, what do you guys think was the difference between the fourth set when you had an eight point lead and most of the other sets where you were kind of neck and neck with Anchorage for most of the time? What was the playing difference? Um, Our offense was on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It just like one ball after another, just everything just was clicking. Yeah. Um, the sets were perfect, and we were just putting them away. And I think we were seeing the block and their defenders better. Yeah, they they missed a lot of serves too, oh, which yeah. helped us out a lot. But we put it away, and we took it to them when they didn't miss the serve. So we flipped our middles. Do you know what that means? <laughs> okay, <laughs> we we changed the rotational order. And so we just took our middles and changed the position that they were in in the, in the rotation, and and that seemed to have a positive effect. Um, it seemed to give us a few more offensive options. Um, we did the same thing in the fifth set. Uh, didn't get quite the same results. Um, and with our team right now, we're so short-handed that we don't really have a lot of options. But that's one of the things we can do. Finally, for me, uh, for both Allie and, and Sam, talk about that crowd tonight. Were you guys feeding off of them? Because yeah. they, they were really yeah, loud. We were just talking about that in the locker room, how fun it was. And that helped us out so much tonight. Um, it's always just so nice to have that support behind us. And, you know, the crowds yelling at each other across the court. And it was a lot of fun. Just, we appreciate it so much. Yeah. Like, we just want to say, honestly, thank you to everyone that came out. Like, we appreciate everyone so much. And, a lot of people are dressed up and we're cheering. Just we appreciate yeah. you guys. We're gonna get some wins for them. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.